Hey everyone, Scott from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm a John McCain Republican, not a Donald Trump Republican. And I'm an Army veteran. And just kind of thinking about it, when I joined the military and joined the Army in the mid 2000s, did for a lot of reasons, but first and foremost was just to defend American values, American democracy, and to be kind of a beacon of light, as we say, the shining city on a hill for the rest of the world as an example of what democracy is supposed to look like and what Donald Trump and the current Republican Party are, are doing to that. It's just, they're just destroying it and it's really unbelievable and despicable. And I was a reliable Republican voter until Donald Trump came along and honestly, I'm prepared to vote straight ticket Democratic for as long as it takes to get not only Donald Trump, but all of his enablers and all of Trumpism, Trumpism out of the party because, you know, we can talk policy differences all we want, but when you have someone who throughout the whole campaign said the only way he could lose was through a rigged election, talked about people voting twice, moving the date of the election, not committing to a peaceful transfer of power, it's just something you feel like I'm living in a dream or a nightmare because I never thought this could happen in our country and the fact that so many people are willingly going along with it and following it just for their own power and not for the good of the country is you know, really going to be a stain on this country and I've never been less proud to be an American than of our current um, government and the Trump administration so it was a joyful day when Joe Biden and Kamala, Kamala Harris uh, came president-elect and vice president-elect and I'm looking forward to January 20th, 2021, but it, just wanted to say everyone, just stay strong until we get there. This is completely a fair and free election. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris won, and we all just need to you know, stay together and do what we need to do to make sure that this president is gone January 20th.